The Bible says that we set our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. There's been many times in my life when I've set a plan to do something. I've had this perfectly laid out thing. If you ever met me, then you know that I can be a little bit of a planner. I love to get out things and write things down and think about the possibilities of how things might end. But for me in my life, when those plans don't come to fruition, when things don't happen how I predict them, it's kind of demoralizing. It's crushing. How did I not see it going that way? How could I have better reacted? Well, the question that we're going to answer today is what do we do when our plans fail? I'm going to set the stage for you and we're going to dig into scripture, specifically Psalm 137. So that God had chosen a nation named Israel to be his nation. He was going to be their God. They were his nation. They made this promise with each other. God said, if you walk with me, then I'll bless you. If you, if you sin against me, then I will curse you. And so they've spent generations now where they some of them walk with God and then they don't. And then they walk with God and then they don't. And now God is punishing them for their sin. Remember, the promise was, if you walk with me, I'll bless you. If you walk against me, then I'll curse you. So curses have fallen upon their land and they've been invaded by the Babylonians. They're getting carried off in exile. And a psalmist writes this song. Beside the rivers of Babylon, we sat and wept. As we went through Jerusalem, we we put away our harps, hanging them on the branches of popular trees. And then when they went into the land, the people there were saying, oh, sing us a song, the Babylonians, sing us a song. And they were just weeping and distraught. I mean, they didn't even want to sing. They didn't want to dance. They didn't want to worship. But I think the problem is they were putting their hope in the wrong thing. In verse 6 it says, may my, stung, may my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth if I fail to remember you, if I don't make Jerusalem my greatest joy. I think that was the issue. Is they put all their hope in God being inside of a temple, inside of a city that was built by human hands. But the issue is, is that God is much bigger than that. And he didn't need a temple built by human hands to have his hand on the earth. So my question to you today in this very short video is, What are you putting your hope in? What are you putting your faith in? Is your faith in God that if you walk with him, he will bless you. If you walk against him, he will curse you. Or is your faith in what you're able to accomplish on your own? Because when our plans don't come to fruition, we have to ask ourselves, are we walking with God or are we not? Because typically our plans fail due to sin coming into our life as opposed to us walking against the Lord. Now, there are times where we walk with God and things seem to fail. But I'm encouraged then by James chapter 1. At the very beginning, it says, Count up pure joy, my brothers, when you face trials of many kinds. So if you're going through a trial where you felt like you did everything right, my encouragement to you is to trust in the Lord that He will come back just as the Israelites did and restore them to what they once were, even better than what they had initially. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you back here later as we continue to read through Scripture together.